Hey everyone! Quick little tutorial video today about interfaces. I'm gonna start with a brief explanation of interfaces with a super simple example, and then I'll show you an actual implementation example in a real life scenario. The timestamps are on screen right now if you wish to skip to the code, but I really recommend listening to the explanation. It will give you guidelines to know when and where implementing interfaces is a good idea. Interfaces are a C-sharp feature that allows you to add abstraction to your code. Basically, you create a contract with some methods you want multiple objects to have. However, unlike with inheritance, you leave the different classes to implement their own logic for these methods. This allows you to have common behavior between different classes, which can be a very helpful thing in Unity. Here's a very simple example. Let's say you have an apple, a burger, and a candy. Since all of these objects can be wildly different, you'd have a different script for each of them. For example, the apple could have a make juice method that you wouldn't want your burger to have, and the candy could have a flavor property that you don't want to share with burgers and apples. Since they're all food items, however, you might want an eat method that's common to each of them, but you might also want every item to have a different effect when eaten. You're gonna run into some troubles if you want to implement that. In that case, interfaces are exactly what you need to use. In this instance, we could create the iFood interface and declare an eat method in it. We only declare the method and we do not write any code for it. Now, we can go implement the interface in every script we want, and we are now forced to implement the eat method in that script. Since each class decides on its implementation, every single one could have a different effect when eaten. In the burger, we could for example do minus 50 hunger and plus 15 fat. For the candy, it could be minus 5 hunger, plus 5 happiness, or whatever this might be. Of course, this example might seem trivial, but once you get in the code to actually eat the item, instead of checking the type against all possible types of food, you can simply assign the iFood type to a variable and call iFood.eat. That way, you can pass any object that implements the iFood interface without having to do logic for each different type of food. This might sound a little confusing, so let me show you a real-life example of an implementation. First though, if you enjoy these quick guides, please leave a like and subscribe, it really helps a ton. Thank you! Alright, this is Magic Punk, a game I'm working on with a couple of friends. If you want to know more about this game, I made a video about it, the link will be in the description. Right now, I need to make an ability system. Each character will have a set of abilities that will have different effects. However, since each character has a list of abilities that can be swapped around, I can't just hardcode every single ability in its slot. Instead, I chose to implement the iAbility interface and have a different script for every single ability. Let's start by first making our interface. The first thing to do when creating an interface is replacing public class by public interface at the top. We remove the model behavior inheritance, since interfaces cannot inherit from other classes, and we're good to start coding. The common behavior I want between my abilities is simply an execute method that takes a combat entity as its parameter. A combat entity is either a player character or an enemy. This will act as the target for the ability. And that's it for the interface. No further work is needed. We can now implement it in our abilities. First, we create a very simple ability class. Then, we add the interface after a colon. A class can implement multiple interfaces, just separate them by a comma. As you can see, we get an error because we are not implementing all the methods the interface says we should. We can either manually type the execute method, or even better, just let autocompletion write it for us. For this ability, I simply made it so it deals 10 damage to the target. Now I could have a completely different ability with the same method, but instead of dealing 10 damage, it could heal 10 health to the target, for example. Now, since a character can have 3 active abilities at a time, in my character script, I can simply add an array of I abilities. That way, each character will be able to have different abilities contained in the same object, but they will all be of different types. And that's pretty much it for the basics of interfaces. They are a very nice tool to know how to use and it will keep your code much cleaner and simpler while avoiding repetition. If you'd like me to do a more in-depth tutorial on interfaces, let me know in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching this quick guide. I plan on making a lot more of these. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to stay hydrated and I will see you next time. Bye.